Okay, showing my rule across this, you're showing two inches in length. And this number four right here in the middle, six, eight, showing eight inch outside diameter, six inch, I'm sorry, four inch inside diameter, and of course they're two inches in length. And cut into 16 separate pieces. Out here we have a 12 inch circle. You notice, no matter how far, I'm going to use this piece as a demonstration. Angles are still angles. No matter how far out I pull these, these lines, this line and the line on this one, will be parallel up and down. When I go 12, it won't sh uh, it's going to wind up being a little bit more of a gap out here than it is here. It's not much, but I want to show you this. Well, now looking at it, that I put all the magnets on there, and I don't, and plus I use these center lines. You'll see, uh, like in the bottom of this one, I have a line here, and I have the line out here. And I used all of them and put them on here with 16. I show that these are not exactly lined up, as you can see by this line. They, it actually gets wider here and thinner here. So what I was fearing with 12 magnets is actually a reality with 16 magnets. The reason being is when I place this here, and line this up, I place this here, we notice that the center for the angles here are coming to here and not all the way to here but on 12 it actually works out I'll show you that here in a minute it looks a lot better than the 16 so I was wrong and I stand corrected uh, your 12 magnets on the 12 inch uh, works better <laughs> it's kind of amazing something I learned uh, like I said I haven't had the experience with the six uh, with the wedge shaped magnets uh, I learned something here and I am very glad that I did so I'll show you the 12 in just a second I have those marked out okay now here's with 12 and what I was concerned with before was that this line here and this line here I was figuring with the 16 magnets would actually uh, have a wider gap out here at the top than in on than on the inside, leaving a, a gap between your wire coming out like this. And like I said, with the 12, that actually corrects it because of because of where the uh, angles point to doesn't come to the center. But with the 12, it doesn't do it either. But it is a whole lot better. This measurement right here to here, and this measurement right here to here leaves this just a little uh, wider on the inside than the outside but as I'll show you just by placing this keychain here you can see when I line this up on the edge I've got just a little bit of an angle difference not much so I guess uh, being tired and being in a rush and not putting my center lines in and just putting a few of these magnets around here, I jumped to a conclusion. And when I called my buddy, he uh, he's telling me 16 as well. But anyway, these are the same magnets that you're talking about, or the shape of the same magnets that you're talking about. I'm also going to draw where your coils will be. This one will wind up perfect right here, and I'll show you just how wide and how many turns you can get into it and why this works better so your 12 is uh, correct and I do stand corrected and I'm glad I stand corrected I'm, I love to be I love to be put on my toes and understand something that I didn't before I got 14 14 gauge wires wide and 7 thick comes up to your comes up to your half inch thick rotor. I've got 14 14 gauge wires side by side all taped together coming off the side of the magnet showing here with this magnet here is going to help this magnet plus this magnet over here is going to help this magnet going around the leg before it was 
what I was thinking of was going to have a bigger gap. Now 14 wires times 7 thick. All the figures are sitting right there. 7 wires thick, 14 wide, 14 times 7 equals 98. 98 divided by 2 because you're using two turns of two strands, I mean two uh, 49 turns of two strands of 14 gauge so 98 divided by 2 is 49 turns um, that'll work fine uh, this is your 40 degrees parameter which uh, allows for nine coils so you see it's just touching the line on both sides these coils can be wound it's going to give you a little bit higher voltage than, uh, than 12 volts so uh, at 120 rpm but uh, probably around, uh, I'm figuring by the percentage of windings difference, uh, you're probably going to get right at about 100 RPM. Your uh, 100 RPM is going to give you uh, your 12 volts plus where you're charging with the two strands of 14 gauge. Anyway, so that's where it stands and looks. I'm sorry about the discrepancy where I messed up a little earlier. I was tired and I would only did probably about four magnets last night and I didn't have the center line so I didn't notice the angles now that I've got all 12 on here I notice that these are pretty much parallel in the lines here going out to 12 inches with 12 is a lot better than going out to 12 inches with 16 although 16 magnets is a lot more goss if you have a poor alternator design if you throw uh, more magnet <laughs> at it it becomes a good design so, uh, your choice, uh, how you want to do, but anyway, I did all this, uh, hope that helps you. I didn't figure it out for the, uh, 16 magnets. Anyway, many good things to you and yours, I'm Scott Brown, KB5ETP. Oh yeah, one more thing, um, one more thing. Um, if you wanted to go down to the quarter inch thick magnets, uh, it probably correct a lot of the uh, extra windings and stuff. So, anyway, many good things to you and yours. Uh, going from 35 to 49. Uh, dealing with half inch magnets, knowing that these wedge shaped magnets outperform at the quarter inch, outperform the half inch rectangles. I'd say, uh, I'd say the quarter inch would probably. Uh, be a little cheaper for you and probably take care of everything. Many good things to you and yours. I'm Scott Brown, Greenwind and other home energies.